Hello guys, this is Kat from Cat Tarot. Welcome to my channel, welcome my friends, and welcome to anybody who is new. So let's start Taurus. Happy birthday. It is your season. We are going through a few things. If you guys haven't heard my astrology bit for May, please take a look at it. The link is going to be provided up there at the end of the video, so pay attention to it. So I'm going to start with one of these extra cards that I pulled out for you during a 40s period. So let's see what it is. And we have rain purification. Um, I guess um, when you're talking about rain, and especially if you're living in Northern Hemisphere, uh, it is like something that is almost like a bringer of the spring, right? It's almost like something like a blood in our veins that kind of like brings this like, I mean, a uh, new life in it. And when that water evaporates, it just goes in the atmosphere and then it kind of like turns back into the earth. It's kind of like very comprehensive. What really for me means when I when I think of rain and I always fall asleep with rain sounds. It's just like I go, Alexa, play rain sounds and I hope it's not going to activate right now. And that's basically something that pacifies me like nothing else. But to me, this is like that really peaceful thing, something that kind of like can put your mind at ease. And yet it's something very nourishing. So clearly for you, this is a message that you need to purify your mind, your body and your spirit. And that's simply almost like a must this particular time around. Um, I don't know, like, I mean, if you're feeling that you're inhibited from being fully present or fully engaged in life, of course, what you're going through kind of like sucks, especially sucks for your kind of like nature, for somebody who is so highly evolved in domestication, who enjoys beautiful things, beautiful food, and so on and so forth. I bet that you guys came up with some kind of like new recipes, etc. But anyhow. If you guys are one of those Tauruses who are maybe grieving that you're not able to fully express yourself, then I would say then this rain means just allow yourself to whatever it is. Uh, let those rivers kind of like of tears uh, become this kind of like miniature kind of like baptism that he help heal the wounds of anything that has been struggling in your soul. I'm also picking up that some of you are feeling tainted by relationship. Some of you feel that somebody took a part of you that was very precious for you, that was something that you really wanted to give away. While the others of you are now in this actual very next phase after that where the healing started and it's like mending all these wounds so this is also talking about detoxification and oh my gosh that's what i'm doing as well uh, such an amazing time when you're not triggered with everybody's inviting you to go outside restaurants smell of barbecues and so on and so forth right so this is calling for you changing your diet and doing maybe a cleanse for a few days or just simply drinking more water to cleanse all of these basically passages so i really think that this card also uh, as i said to me is just like i'm in life it's like a blood for the nature so it's a kind of like some some form of life blood and it's really essential for every form of life on earth so this is really a time for you guys to if you wish purify yourself so let's start with this then and we are going to see how we are going to glue this all later and let's shuffle so taurus taurus for may Happy birthday, Taurus. Looks like your keys, your keys on, your season got canceled. But this is not to say that you won't be able to be very pragmatic and very resourceful in order to kind of like pull something up and create something really fantastic. And you know what? Nothing wrong about treating yourself perfectly well. So enjoy. So let's see. What do we have here for Taurus? the bottom of the deck I have this like five of earth I'm not picking up so much that you feel isolated yeah actually you're feeling isolated but like I don't pick up depression or anything like that because if you really even look at this closer yes the kitty is looking at the other two cats snuggled inside they have like warmth and they have food guess what 
cats do like to be outside. They do like their freedom. They kind of like, like to have that elusive quality. So there's like still something, some advantage to this kitty. And are they jealous of somebody else having something? Sure. I guess this might be coming through. Maybe there's like this essence of the passage of time that is really happening. Maybe there's like this essence of being shut down, especially for those of you um, extroverts out there. Like this seems to be like really difficult because you're one of those signs that is like highly tactile. And I just don't mean toward people. I mean also toward everything you that's how the venus really works out this is how basic things are affected because you touch wood you're going to create something from the wood or you're going to appreciate the carvings in the wood or the texture of the table right it's not going to be for you mm, just give me any table kind of a thing uh, for tauruses it's more important than any other sign to own your own home and kind of like live in in that kind of integration with the nature so let's see what else do we have over here. So you have a 10 of C. It is reversed. So there are like possibly some issues at home. Maybe you are feeling that you are not where you want to be in terms of family, in terms of unity, in terms of, of how emotionally you integrate and interact with the other people. And this is you, Art King. Clearly, this is very important to you. You're really looking at your emotional makeup. You are looking into which people, which things, and which processes are making you happy. Literally happy. Not satisfied. This is much different. So satisfied would be something like this. It's somebody dissatisfied. Somebody feeling cut out from money or from goodies, right? But this is kind of like a longing feeling. I want something. It's kind of like introspection. But it's also sometimes a time when we put a mask and when we say, no, everything is just fine. Why do you ask where it isn't? And people pick up on it. So maybe... Uh, maybe kind of like being a vulnerable or allowing people to come in your world and help you would would basically be beneficial for you and that's maybe also why you have the purification card as well it is about nourishment uh, purification card also how it combines here can talk about that it might be some kind of like blood transfusion that might be needed for some of you but we will see more if something like this shows up so this is the past the floating cat or the hangman interpretation well fun fact did you know that cats have this ability just like as this cat is being shown over here to flip in the air like this and this is possibly why they have been told they have nine lives the truth is that this is not really easy like we look at cats and say piece of a cake but how many people fall even from a tall building and they're just like falling exactly in the way it is? But not only that, when cats flip, they also have almost like a shock um, mechanism built into their legs that kind of like smooth the, the fall. Well, don't try it at home. Don't throw them in from the high thing. But cats are known to survive really, really uh, like, I mean, falls from high places. In this particular card, this kitty is trying to find uh, her footing she is trying to find where she is but not really liking how the position is and what's going on but if you really think about this particular card then you're like aware that there is like not much going on in this kitty's head other than I need to do this right now I cannot think about kittens I cannot think about the birds out there or the bugs that are going on right now I really need to think about landing and landing safely and that kind of like connects here to me with that art king or king of pentacles so this is clearly your card there is like also very much earth quality here this is also godlike card where it really tells us that sometimes uh, reacting is not a good thing. Sometimes it's just good to absorb and internalize this entire process and everything that we are going through. And then we have five of C. Oh, boy, boy, you're getting these fives. So it might be some kind of like feeling of discomfort this month. It could be some kind of like feeling of embarrassment. Um, some of you, I think, are really experiencing a loss. 
of uh, possibly either a person or something as I said initially and I still have a very strong feeling that some of you are feeling that there is an absence of something that you had in abundance and abundance is basically the word that describes Taurus and it's not always via money yes money can buy us things that other people would call uh, yeah that kind of creates richness and abundance but abundance is so much more it is you enjoying the beautiful smells it's you enjoying those beautiful textures as i said before so this is emotional aspect just like in in the stand of sea while this is sort of like more environmental aspect that we see here so it is telling me that your environment or maybe even everything that we are observing and looking is affecting you and there is like also some level of maybe feeling that a it was my job to carry this on um I, i'm gonna look picking up on the responsibility over here that you feel that you somehow failed or something like that right or that you might fail so what is about you what you're trying to strive for is for a fire you are such a survivor for a fire look at that it's the beam of light it's that kind of like soul coming through tiger 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 is observing who is coming out, and this is exactly like that. It's announcement. I'm here, here. Like I mean, don't put fork in me. I am not done. If you think you you hurt me, maybe you did, but guess what? I'm going to get better, and you're always going to be fat, kind of a thing, right? So this is to me meaning you are you are moving up. There is like upward motion. There is like energy that is really going in a new direction. The four of fire to me also talks about the next stage and the next good stage. And good stage is like pretty much what karma decides, not what we decide, right? And it could be falling back to something that was tried and true for you and kind of like moving in that direction. Now, guys, this is like kind of like moving forward and there is like earth again. Like, so I really like there is like this earth that is moving forward so if you have been in a doldrums at some point now there is like this essence of hey you know what if i'm stuck here and even if i have to rebuild my business or i have to look for a job again or if i have to look for mr or mrs right again i have the tools i have learned that and this is so much better than majority of the people so eight of earth is like that thing of looking at the details so like some people are you know analysis paralysis where they look in the details right from the get-go and they get lost while the other people are kind of like looking in the details when everything else is in place right so it's kind of like something to complete this entire picture to complete this like everything that is really kind of like looking forward and this is basically Again, this is your home. I'm getting Ace of Pentacles reversed. And this is what you're hearing is like my neighbor who I cannot stand. He has this dog that he is walking only once a month and I can hear Tiger is not enjoying him anymore. I know, these are bad neighbors. And he's very loud as you can tell. So, so Ace of Earth, which was reversed, it tells me that there's like something that cannot grow. It cannot regrow. It has reached the end of its potential or or you just don't think that some potential can co can continue. It's kind of weird. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles here, and we have the King of Pentacles here. So it's almost like everything. So you do want everything, but maybe you're a little bit puzzled in maybe not puzzled there is like a new direction that you had in mind and you have been dealing with but somehow got severed whether this was a relationship or a business or career maybe this is why you're feeling financial pinch maybe this is why you're maybe panicking emotionally and thinking uh, i'll never I'll never achieve what what i had before right this is telling me that there is like something that is like a cutoff unlike ace of uh, wands where we see the new growth here this tree is like now kind of like going into this final phase in its life where it's going to kind of renourish the nature in order for possibly one day a new tree to be born your environment is the demon cat so it could be capricorn it could be um cancer 
in your life or earth or water that I'm seeing over here where maybe some of you may be dealing with situations where there is a third party where others of you could be dealing with situations where there is like an ex who is either pesky and annoying or overly demanding and somebody who actually had certain power over you eh, no more and that's somebody who is still not getting the message he's still not getting and maybe this is connecting you are so over it you are so no more jose of these games i'm tired of it i don't want to see you i don't want to deal with this and so on and so forth hopes and fears and you have seven of fire and seven of fire is really an interesting card because we are seeing a fight and the fur is flying or fire everywhere really if you think about it but there is like certain advantage about this kitty being on this like upright situation and kind of like everybody else has to conquer challenges before even getting to this stage in this position this card is being looked both up and down and here we are really talking about um possibly you don't feel anymore that you have to prove something that you have to defend something right sometimes like people challenge us and then we say no you're not right because of this so when we get to the point that we just don't really want to say anything anymore yeah kind of like we are just fed up with these people we are just fed up with all the such circumstances that's basically it Maybe you're done with relationship. Maybe you're done with somebody from the past. Maybe you just don't want to put up with anybody's BS. Maybe you are changing your ways. And maybe this is why you're getting this purification card because it's kind of like asking, hey, you know what? It's a new beginning for you, clearly. But new beginning for you is starting with ending something. For some of you, it could be really looking in your family situation. And I'm not talking about your mother or father. I'm talking like your inner family, such as your marriage, such as like, I mean, what works, what doesn't work. Some of you are really working on um, kind of twisting yourself a little bit in order to kind of like, or maybe you have been doing that, twisting yourself to, um, to please your partner. And you're like out right now in the phase that yeah, you just don't want to do this anymore and see kitten there are like some kind of messages maybe some of you are simply moving on simply moving forward simply moving in your direction this is like a lovely card with somebody new coming in your life with some flirtation with some kind of like a goodies coming something that's very light something that is absolutely perfect and look at how perfect sense this makes look like you are working on yourself on the inside. You have been, I don't know, maybe facing your own demons, uh, facing your fears, and maybe not being very reactive or engaging with the people rather than just being in observation mode. And boy, do you ever observe and you're getting all these little details on people that don't even understand. You're looking at the coupling of the people and why is your friend with this guy and you're trying to see certain things and then you're realizing, well, it must be something that they have. There is a reason you're getting some clues on this. And all of that is allowing you such a greater vision of actually moving in your direction and observing everything in a completely new and more precious way. And let's reveal what we got here. Who you got passion. So it is like I'm in mean, sacral chakra over here, which means uh, you are going to look very sexy. You're going to act very sexy. It's going to be some certain sense of regeneration. And maybe this is why it is. Sometimes this, this might say for some of you are really feeling urged to settle down, to find your own home, to be the king of your own fort, if you wish, even if you're a queen. But you know what I mean. There is like this, this kind of like a missing thing in your life that you're not able to define. And you're going to have some signs about moving in that direction this time around, right? I really think this is also saying that you really need to follow your instincts, that, you know, if there is like something that you're really passionate about because this story here talks about a princess that truly really didn't follow her royal family advice hey keep the crown don't mingle with commoners and yet she liked her volunteer work and she actually really wanted to be one of these political leaders and she felt she can actually contribute something contrary to the basically will of her family 
and interestingly enough the elections came and she wins right so she is the new leader so it really talks about that yes there are some people in your life who may have had and that's people such as your family who had lots of influence on you whose say was very highly appreciated but now you're feeling that you know it is time to branch out you really have to see what you are willing to stand for what is being authentic right uh, are you standing a self uh, stand for yourself or you're following same old same old that you have been always told some of you maybe feel ostracized by the family or friends and you know like I mean there is like a great need for being emotionally centered I'm picking up on a strong feminine energy even though we had a king over here and it's going to be a, a really happy outcome for you guys you don't really need to do much other than realize that there are certain things that have been in your life that have been toxic and they're going to be not toxic anymore because you're not going to let them and these people who have cross your path who think that they can actually influence you they need to think again they're going to be in for a rude awakening this upcoming month so happy birthday Taurus would like to hear your comments if you want a reading with me uh, visit me at keter.ca or visit my social media so you can get your daily dose of tarot love you all the best